what's up guys you're welcome once again to david deity channel if this is your first time please do hit that subscribe button and the like button and also the notification bell so you are notified once a new video comes up Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be continuing on the talk about data ingestion, uh, but we're going to be doing it with a tool. Alright, so uh, in, my in my previous video, um, you can check it up in the link above and link in the description below. I talked about data ingestion, what it means and how it is useful in the data process life cycle. And um, today we're going to be looking at how we can do this thing in one of using one of the open source tools. There are several tools out there, like I mentioned in that video, that can be used for data ingestion. Remember that your data ingestion is like the first part of your data lifecycle process. There are tools out there like Fivetran, Airflow, Airbyte, and other stuff like that, Stitch as well. But today, I'm going to be showing us how to use Airbyte. Airbyte is an open source data ingestion tool that can be used for your data ingestion process. And I'm going to walk you through how you can use the open source tool. And um, Airbyte also has a um, cloud version, right? That you can also use if you want to um, save yourself from the hassle of setting up of setting up the um, Airbyte instance on your own. If you are trying to avoid that that um, hassle and all that, you can just use the um, Airbyte cloud. So we'll just jump to the screen right now. Use Airbyte cloud, so you can see Airbyte. Airbyte is a open source um, data integration tool for the modern data stack right and um, you can set up your pipeline in minutes um, you extract from your sources load to your destination and then you transform it that's what really airbyte does and then um, we say there's airbyte open source and then airbyte cloud um in terms of pricing let's let, let, let me go there so if you're going to use airbyte cloud you would um, see the pricing. So open source is free, which is what we're going to do today. And um, you can see about cloud $2.5 per credit, or you can get a custom pricing based on what you want to do. But in this case, we want to do open source. So let's get started. All right. All right. So um, for this deployment, we are going to use Docker. I'm not going to be talking about how to install Docker. Um, I'll just show you, you can just use this link from Airbyte's documentation. I already have Docker installed on my system. Uh, Docker is a container. Um, Docker is a container that allows you to um, hold stuff, right? That's what it is, a container. Uh, yeah. You can put stuff in your container like my docker my docker container as you can see i have metabase instance here i have my sql i also have an astro project for um airflow running as well yeah so that's just what it is i'm going to um, install airbyte into this docker container if you're using if you don't have docker installed you can follow the documentation and then see how you can install docker so this mark with intel chip mark with apple chip right so depending on the chip you're using if you're doing for windows you can click on the link and then do your installation as required all right so let's go back to our documentation and then do our what's it called deploy our air by so i'm going to open my terminal now Okay, so I'm just going to copy this and paste on my terminal. Yeah, so I'm saying git clone um, airbyte from GitHub, create a airbyte directory, and then Docker starts it up. So we're waiting for it to run. So let's see. Depending on your internet connection, it will affect how fast it's going to clone the airbytes github repo onto your system all right so um from our we can see in our terminal that um it's done cloning the repo the 
directory create directory everybody has been created and then we have docker compose up so i'll okay this and then for docker to initialize this repo and then we'll move up from there all right so our airbyte is done installing you can see documentation said um, once you find what's it called mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so we are good to go so you can see that you're not ready go to this link localhost um, 8000 so let's go yeah awesome so you can see our airbyte instance is running and this is the airbyte interface um so let me use my email here and then you put your email and an anonymize your usage um you see feature updates and stuff like that and you continue so this is your airbyte interface right this is your airbyte interface yeah 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 so from here you set up your source you set up your destination destination and then you have your connection right your connection is showing your source and your destination so we are going to create our first connection okay okay so we are going to configure a source um for this i'm going to use google spreadsheets uh, because this is something everybody everyone of us can have access to and then so the name of your connect of your source we call it google sheet you can give it whatever name you want to give it and then for our authentication to get to authenticate our source we have um two options either authenticate via google Auth or service account authentication i'm going to use service account authentication we can read it through the documentation so we're not using airbyte cloud we are using airbyte open source and for airbyte open source the first thing here is that you need to enable google cloud um platform api for your personal or organization account and for this um google cloud platform apis we need to enable um, google sheets api and google drive api that's something i've done already but i'm just going to show us what it looks like right so in case you're going to do your so you go to your api console and um by this time you've created a project already in your google console google um cloud console console platform yeah just be google cloud platform google console platform mm -hmm. yeah uh so um so what are we gonna do now i'm just gonna go to api library i search api library i click on the library and i'm gonna search google sheets Yeah, so if you're doing this for the first time, you would see this will be enabled. So you enable Google Sheets and you do the same for Google Drive. You'll see enable here yeah, and enable it as well. Alright, so um what else do we need now? Yes, yeah, so let's go back to Airby to um do our stuff. So for our source we need um the service account um we need to create a service account so to do this we'll go back to our google please and um you come to api and services i am admin yeah i am admin you click on service account so the service account is um their account that allows that would give access to airbyte into your google sheets right we are doing this in google because google sheets like google um google product right uh, so this is the file we're going to be using i just created a dummy sheets right called airbytes right yeah so we're going to create a service account so you click on create service account i'm going to call this um g hyphen sheets right um you can put the description if you want i'm just going to create and continue um for the rule I'm going to give it um, just editor, right? I'm just going to give it an editor because I want to be able to read from the um, spreadsheet. I continue and then done. So 
So the next thing is that I'm going to need a service account key. So to do that, um, I'll just click on this email address, right? And it brings me this option of my service account, the details, the permission, keys, and I'm going to go to keys. I'm going to go to keys and then add key. I create the key. So I'm going to make this key to be in a JSON format, right? Uh, because for Airbytes, as you see, I need to put in a JSON format um, key here or from a JSON file rather. Yeah, so that's, we get that. So I create and the private key is saved to my computer. So I'm just going to open it and then I'll copy the details from my system. You can't see that now, but I'm just going to copy that details from my system and then bring it over here. Okay, I'm going to paste this, right? Yeah, so I pasted that service account key in here from JSON file. So you open the JSON file, copy the contents of the JSON file and paste it here. And um, I leave this as is, um, row batch size mm -hmm. and um, spreadsheet link. So I go to my spreadsheet file click on share and um, I open this to anyone with the link if I don't want anybody with the link I can add that service account email in here as um, an editor or a viewer so I just copy link for viewing and um, I go to airbyte and paste this link so let's test our source connection and see Awesome, awesome. Um, our test was successful. Awesome. So the next thing we're going to do will be to create a destination for Airbytes. I'm just going to shift this my video in a bit. Yeah, so it doesn't. Okay. To create a destination for Airbytes, so we'll click on new destination. I'm going to use BigQuery, so spreadsheet to BigQuery. Uh, we can see the, uh, the docs here, prerequisites. Um, for everybody to open source users, um, that's uh, so Google Cloud projects with BigQuery enabled. So we need to enable BigQuery API, um, BigQuery data sets, right? To sync data to, uh, yeah, basically that's what we need. Yeah, okay. And then it talks about um, the naming convention for your tables should have like underscores, that's the thing, okay. So project ID. So I'm going to go to BigQuery. So this is my project. Um, let me just go to BigQuery. First of all, let me confirm that um, um, what's it called? Let me confirm that I have BigQuery API um, set up. Okay, so I'm just going to search BigQuery. API okay, is enabled so this is what I have here all right so um, I'll go to BigQuery and I'll go to SQL workplace right so this is my project ID right curious query app 3 and I'll just take that and put it here my data set location yeah it should be the US I don't remember changing that Default data set, data set I just called um, G sheet import. G sheet import. Um, data set ID. I'm just going to copy that data set ID. Okay, so I'm going to use standard insert, right? Which just be um, SQL select statements into that, right? Our service account. Key. that there uh, I leave this as interactive and um, let's set up our connection and see how far that goes for our new connection we're using Google Sheets yeah our destination we're using BigQuery yeah so it's gonna do a sync trying to sync that information remember we just have um, um, a few columns of data Two columns of data and then few rows. Yeah, so let's see. 
all right so we can see connection is successful this is your connection name you could um, name this you can give this whatever whatever name you want it's for you to easily remember it right um so i'm just going to put g sheet to bq so your uh, replication like how often do you want this to to sync every hour every two hours every eight hours i'm going to use every eight hours so destination name namespace how, how do you want to stream it says define the location where data will be stored in destination um so when you say mirror source structure you're telling it to um just the structure of the source data set so for example if you're using a mongo if your if your source is a mongo db for example um where they use um what's it called hyphens right BigQuery uses underscores and not hyphens, so that will cause issues if you're mirroring source structure or you're using um, destination default. Personally, I like using custom default, so I'm just going to put, um, I'll just call this Google Sheets. So it's going to create a new data set called Google Sheets, right? On in BigQuery. Yeah, so sheet name, sheet one for, for Google Sheets. Airbyte just provides a um, full refresh for the source and overwrite on destination or a full refresh on the source and append on destination. So I'm going to go with the full refresh overwrite. What this means is that for every um, for every run, it's going to do a full refresh on the source and overwrite the contents on destination. So I'm going to set up connection. All right, let's see. All right. So the sync is successful. And then um, connection is successful, and now it's trying to sync a run. Um, if you click on this, you would see the run logs, right? To see if a source, if a run is successful or not successful. So we're just gonna, you can look. So and if um, your run fails, you could check the log to figure out what the issue was, right? So, all right, guys. So we can see the run is successful with six committed records and um, six emitted records, six from the source, six in destination. And you can look at the logs to see what it is like. So if we go to BigQuery and then refresh, we would see that data set here. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, this is it. Google Sheets. You can see the file we just imported, Sheets 1, as data set. So this is the these are table as we came in these are just a byte um a byte emitted id emitted at normalized data just a byte internal um part of logs so basically this is how you can um um it just data from whatever source to destination using a byte i hope you got a thing or two out of this video don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and also share as well Alright, bye.